Good evening, or good morning, or good afternoon. From many parts of the world, this is Tony HP, and thank you so much for being here with me today. This is a video in regards to the aftermath of Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. My prayers go with everybody in this most difficult time. It is very important for everybody to do what is necessary to be able to first save lives, which is the most important thing right now, and make sure that all the resources are getting to all of all the people who are in most need right now. So let's continue with that effort and let's continue fighting. Let's not, you know, let's be, let's do the, the things that need to be done in this long, you know, this recovery is going to be long, but I believe that a great, you know, a greater Puerto Rico will be born, a new Puerto Rico will be born after this. Like that's my belief, regardless of what is happening right now, my true belief is that at the end a great, a newer, a much greater Puerto Rico will be born. So I want to throw that out there. And this video is in regards to the situation with families that have people, kids, and adults with autism in Puerto Rico and the challenges that they're going through right now in the aftermath of the hurricane. These families right now need all the resources necessary to be able to be able to you know deal with the situation. And especially their children, their adult children with autism need the resources necessary to be able to deal with this emergency. I did this video, uh, I think I think it was like on, you know, Saturday in regards to the update in terms of what was what was going on with families that have people in the autism spectrum in Puerto Rico and I was I was very happy to hear you know news from the you know an update from the uh, this organiz this autism organization in Puerto Rico called the Alianza Alianza del Autismo in Puerto Rico in Spanish, the Autism Alliance in Puerto Rico, and be able to get updates from them. And they have posted on their Facebook page about families that are in need right now, and also to make donations uh, to, you know, to be able to you know, make donations or, you know, send resources available to be able to help our families with autism, you know, people and, you know, loved ones with autism in Puerto Rico. So it is very important, not just Puerto, you know, Puerto Ricans here, you know, Puerto Ricans out of Puerto Rico right now. Not only us, but most important, everybody that you know of your friends, your family, your network, you know, co-workers, businesses, you know, business associates, everybody that you know, to be able to spread the word and be able to help our families that have loved ones with autism in Puerto Rico and sending them the resources necessary so that way they can better deal with the situation, which is a very, very critical situation right now. If we don't do that, then this is gonna turn out, you know, this is gonna turn out to a more serious and more critical problem. Our people need it, our people with autism need it. They need everything, all the resources, everything available. So that way, because the struggles that they face, you know, they have challenges. You know, as I talked to about in my last video, I'm an adult within the autism spectrum diagnosed with Asperger's, which is a high functioning, which is high functioning in the autism spectrum. But there are people dealing with more difficult challenges, more severe challenges with their, you know, with autism and they need every help, they need all the help available. So my, my call for everybody is to make a donation to the Autism Alliance of Puerto Rico. Now I want to say it in Spanish to everybody that is saying, watching this video in Spanish, Hacer donación a la, a la Alianza de Autismo en Puerto Rico. I'm going to put the links. I have here the the website in which you can make a donation for the Autism Alliance in Puerto Rico. Uh, you're able to make donations to 
uh, to, you know, you know, you can send in, you know, uh, payment through, you know, by email. You know, the email that I have here is, I'm going to spell it, which is in Spanish, is A L I A N Z A A U T I S M O at gmail dot com. I'm gonna repeat it again. It's A L I A N Z A A U T I S M O at gmail dot com. That's their email for the Autism Alliance of Puerto Rico. And you can and to get and also you can send them a donation to PayPal. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put that link to their email and I'm gonna put their the link to their Facebook page where you can get more detailed information about you know ways to make a donation. And also to get more information if anybody and this will I'm gonna go to Spanish right now. Um, you know, in terms of my video for just a moment. But no, never mind. And if you know of anybody, of any family that have a person with autism that need help, I'm going to give you the phone numbers that you can call to be able to report that situation. This applies to Puerto Ricans in the island and Puerto Ricans outside of the island. Anything that you hear of a family that it is in need right now. They have a person, a child, an adult child with autism. You can call these phone numbers to provide the information so that way uh, the Alliance, the Autism Alliance of Puerto Rico can send the information so that way we can find a way to send donations or resources. Here are the phone numbers. 787-647-2918. 'll repeat it again it's seven eight seven six four seven two nine eighteen another phone number that I have here is seven eight seven nine four nine four six three four I repeat seven eight seven nine four nine four six three four and another phone number I have here is seven eight seven six four five ten thirty four seven eight seven six four five ten thirty four and last but not least, 787-409-6608. I'll repeat it one more time. 787-409-6608. I'm going to put these phone numbers right down below my video alongside the Gmail for the organization and their Facebook page. If I'm able to hear anything else in regards to families that, you know, they are in need right now that have people with autism. I'll, I'll keep you posted. But please share this video with everybody that you know. To all Puerto Ricans in the island and all Puerto Ricans outside the island, to share this video with everybody that you know. The more that we can spread the word, the more we can make a positive and a long lasting difference in the lives of those families with loved ones with autism. So thank you so much for being here today. And if I hear anything else, or if you hear of anyone, any family that has a loved one with autism that is in Puerto Rico, that they are in need right now, please let me know. And most important, most important, let the, the Autism Alliance in Puerto Rico know the more we can identify these issues, the more we can send help, the better we can, the way we can send help. So thank you so much for being here tonight in my area. And prayers for Puerto Rico, prayers for the Virgin Islands, and everywhere that's been affected by, Dancho, you know, by all these situations. But at the end, at the end, we, you know, we will prevail. So thank you. And have, a, and have a good evening. And this is Tony HP, and I'm signing out. Bye bye.